Hello and welcome to the What Northern Ireland Means to Me podcast, presented by me, Julia Paul. This series has been produced by Shared Future News to mark the centenary of Northern Ireland and is funded by the Heritage Fund on behalf of the Northern Ireland office. Shared Future News provides information and personal stories on the topics of peace building, reconciliation and diversity to a Northern Ireland audience and beyond. In this episode, we meet Ian Marshall, who's a current member of the Ulster Unionist Party and a former senator in Shannad Aaron, to hear what Northern Ireland means to him. I suppose when I think of Northern Ireland, I think of home. And why wouldn't I? It is my home, and it has been my home for 53 years. And we have lots to be proud of, and and I'm actually immensely proud of Northern Ireland. For me, Northern Ireland's George Best. It's Snow Patrol, it's Ash, it's Rory McIlroy, Joey Dunlop, it's Harry Ferguson, Paddy Keelty, it's the Northern Ireland football team, and the list goes on and on. Northern Ireland's a wee place punching way above its weight as part of the UK with only 1.8 million people, churning out an endless stream of entertainers, sports stars, engineers, scientists, and all sorts of people excelling in business, industry, and academia. For me, it's a place with family, friends, and memories, and unquestionably more good memories than bad. Most of all though, Northern Ireland's about people. It's about good people. People who had to overcome challenges, adversity, threats and difference to hang on to some degree of normality through very challenging times. Most of all though, it was about very resilient people. When we tend to think of Northern Ireland, most people have a tendency to focus on negativity, not realising actually just how much we have compared to other parts of the world. It's not about its problems, but it's a good place to live and work and raise a family despite our checkered history. But we all inherited our history and we had no part in the making of it. And still somehow we've inherited a feeling of responsibility for what has gone before, despite the fact that most weren't even born 100 years ago. This year especially has flagged up the depth of feeling on all sides about our inherited history. A recollection of one history and two narratives. And when I think of this history, and the often skewed distortion of it, sometimes with selective memory and selective amnesia, I can see that we need to understand it in all its entirety and to put everything into context at a time and a place. Because without the context, everything will conveniently fall into one camp or the other to score points or to support a position or to make political arguments for one narrative or the other. When I think of Northern Ireland today, I really think of a place apart, unique and special. Small place with a feeling of family about it and a quality of life. A place fundamentally different from 1998 but a place now filled with hopes, dreams and aspirations, with a new generation of young people not blighted with bigotry, sectarianism and an obsession with the past. It's all about young people looking forward to the future together and about their opportunities at home and further afield. This is now about my children, about your children, in fact about all our children. What Northern Ireland means to me is about creating a shared space and just making Northern Ireland a place that everyone can call home and where everyone can feel at home. What Northern Ireland Means to Me is produced by Shared Future News. Our staff include Alan Leonard, Alan Mabon and Julia Paul. Our theme song is Figure in the Fog by Jordan McMurray, with thanks to Music Paths. This and other episodes with transcripts are available at the Shared Future News website, sharedfuture.news. You can also follow us on Facebook at Shared Future News and Twitter at Shared Future. If you would like to suggest someone for a future episode of What Northern Ireland Means to Me, please email us at editor at sharedfuture.news. Thanks for listening. <laughs>